Children, pay attention, please. Everybody turn round this way, please. We've got a lovely surprise this morning. We've got a visitor. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is, Sydney. And what do we say to our visitor? We say, good morning, visitor. No, Peggy, our visitor hasn't got a funny hat on. That's her hair. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Hingle, I'm afraid we are a trifle outspoken sometimes. Well, you find us having a free activity period this morning, and in our free activity periods, each little individual chooses his or her own form of occupation. Get out from under the table there, please, Sydney. Yes, some of us paint, and some of us do plaster scene work, or go to a sand table over there. We feel that each little individual has got to get to the bottom of himself and learn what he wants of life. Who is making that buzzing noise? Well, stop it, please, Neville. Hazel, dear, come away from the door and get something to do. I do love to see them all so happily occupied, each little one expressing his own personality. George, don't do that. And this is my friend Caroline, and Caroline's painting such a lovely red picture, aren't you, Caroline? I wonder what it is. Perhaps it's a lovely red orange, is it, or a sunset? Oh, it's a picture of Mummy. Oh, for a moment I thought it was an orange, but now that you tell me, I can see it's Mummy. Um, aren't you going to give her any nose? No? No nose. I think it's so interesting the way they see things, don't you? Sydney, stop blowing at Edgar and get something to do. Yes, I know I said you could choose what you're going to do, but you cannot choose to blow at Edgar. Well, because I don't think it's a good idea. Well, because I, uh, I'm not going to discuss it with you, Sydney. Now go over there and join Susan at her sand table. Yes, there is room, Sue. There's heaps of room. Just move up. Susan, we never bite our friends. Now say you're sorry to Sydney. No, you needn't kiss him. No, you needn't hug him. Susan, put him down. Sydney, ah, uh, uh. I'm afraid some of our egos are a little on the big side today, Mrs. <laughs> Hingle. Hazel, dear, I don't want to have to tell you again. Please come away from that door. Why can't you? Well, you shouldn't put your finger in a keyhole and then it wouldn't get stuck in there, would it? Children, I don't think there's any need for everybody to come and look just because poor Hazel's got her finger stuck in a keyhole. Now, back to your places, everybody, right away. David, David, turn round. Right round, please, David. Use your hanky. And again. And again. And wipe. Thank you, David. Now then, Hazel, why did you put your finger in a keyhole? To see if it would go in. Well, let's see if we can get it out, shall we? Oh, it is stuck in, isn't it? No, Sydney, I don't think Hazel's finger is stuck in the keyhole forever and ever. And I don't suppose for a moment we shall have to get the fire brigade to come along and take the door down so that we can get poor Hazel's finger out. You do exaggerate, Sydney, don't you? Well, if we don't get her finger out by dinner time, she'll have to have her dinner here, won't she? And her tea. And her supper and stay the night. But we're going to get it out, aren't we, Hazel? That's right. But who is making that buzzing noise? Neville, I don't want to speak to you again. Yes, I know you're a busy bee, but I don't want to hear you buzzing. No, not even very quietly. I can still hear you, Neville. Neville, I should think so. He's such a musical child, and, you know, one doesn't like to discourage them. Sydney, please take that paintbrush out of your ear and give it back to Lavinia. Yes, you do want it, Lavinia. Yes, you do. You love painting. Yes, you do. Yes, dear, you do. You love painting. George! Don't do that. Now then, Hazel... Dear, it is stuck, isn't it? You know, Mrs. Hingle, this child's finger is really stuck in the keyhole. Well, I think the fire brigade are the best in an emergency, don't you? Yes, I have. I've got a telephone in my office. Would you? Oh, I am grateful. Thank you so much. Well, I'll just tell the children. Uh, children, I want everybody to be very grown up and very sensible. We're going to see if we can get one of those nice firemen along to help us to get Hazel's finger out of the key. Oh, you've got it out. Oh, well done, Hazel. Mrs. Hingle, she's got it out. Oh, isn't that lovely? Sydney, you're not to go near that door. Sydney, you're not to put your finger... 
Sydney. I spoke too soon, Mrs. Hingle. Oh, Sydney.